You're listening to Don't Miss This on Paris Underground Radio. For more great content, including bonus videos of events in and around Paris, please join us on Patreon. Hello, and welcome to Don't Miss This, your weekly roundup of the best of what's happening in Paris this week. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity, the creator and founder of the Paris Underground Radio Podcast Network, featuring podcasts on a wide range of topics that come out six days a week and are made for people just like you. If you haven't yet, please sign up for our newsletter. It comes out every Sunday and includes a little program of what's to come each week, so you always know what's happening on the Paris Underground Radio podcasts. You can sign up on parisundergroundradio.com. Start your week with three new museum installations, two in museums you may not know, and one you most certainly do. Then you'll find art walks around Paris, nonstop races, and excuses to dance in the metro, and on rooftops with panoramic views. Discover nocturnes in unusual places, featuring drag kings, Pink Floyd in planetariums, and so much more. This week's edition of Don't Miss This covers the week of Sunday, June 4th through Saturday, June 10th, 2023. Can you believe what your senses are telling you? That's the question that artist Ariel Rosary is exploring in her new exhibit at the Musée de l'Illusion. Quote, Ariel Rosary is an internationally renowned visionary artist whose career has been marked by a bold and creative exploration of illusion and perspective. Her unique approach is to push the boundaries of visual perception, creating works of art that defy expectations and spark the imagination. Ariel Rosary has exhibited in prestigious galleries and museums around the world, and her works have been praised by critics for their originality and ability to engage the viewer in a deeply personal and visceral way. End quote. Ariel Rosary will be at the Musée de l'Illusion through June 30th, and more information can be found at Musée de l'Illusion.fr. That's M U S E E D E L. I-L-L-U-S-I-O-N dot F-R. Inspiration can come from anywhere. For artist and photographer Anaïs Tonder, inspiration came from the Postal Service and her new exhibit, Un Pli du Bord du Monde, or A Fold from the Edge of the World, was created specifically for the Musée de la Poste. This exhibit takes you on a journey through space and time, imagining envelopes flying through less traditional paths, crossing cities, crossing centuries. This trip is full of mysteries, highlighting the collections within and the history of the Postal Museum, all while promoting a more sustainable way to travel. You'll find three installations taking you along the Seine, the Grand Neuve, and the outskirts of Paris, while the mail travels in a ball from Moulin meets the aeronauts of the Villette bubble, reveals the post office's buried treasure, and collects bits of nature along the way. Un pli du bord du monde will be at the Musée de la Poste through April 8th, 2024, and tickets are 5 euros. For more information, please visit museedelaposte.fr. That's M-U-S-E-E-D-E-L-A-P-O-S-T-E dot F-R. Have you ever visited the Capo de Monte Museum in Naples? It's one of the largest museums in Italy and holds one of the most important collections of paintings in Europe. Beginning on June 7th, you'll find around 60 of its greatest masterpieces at the Louvre. So says the current director of the Louvre, quote, In 2023, the most beautiful masterpieces of the Capo de Monte Museum will dialogue with those of the Louvre, within the museum itself, within the framework of an unprecedented device. Royal palaces transformed into museums, rich in collections inherited from the greatest sovereigns, symbols of the historical links between France and Italy, the Louvre and Capo de Monte have a lot to share and say. End quote. In this exhibit, you'll find pieces by Titian, Caravaggio, Giuliano Romano, Michelangelo, and Masaccio. The launch of this exhibit will also kick off a season of concerts, shows, multidisciplinary, and festive events at the Louvre. Naples à Paris will be at the Louvre beginning on Wednesday, June 7th, and more information can be found at louvre.fr. 
That's L-O-U-V-R-E dot F-R. I have even more good news for all you art lovers, especially if your love runs towards Asian art. The new Printemps Asiatique begins this Wednesday. Modeled after Asia Week in New York and Asian Art in London, Printemps Asiatique will combine exhibits and auctions in specialized art galleries, major auction houses, and various museums, including the Guimet Museum, the Chernochi Museum, the Museum of Decorative Arts, and our friend the Louvre. In total, 25 galleries, 14 museums, and 12 auction houses will participate over 10 days. And you'll find events like the From Prince to Manga, a History of Paper Manga conference at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, a visit to a restoration workshop specializing in Tibetan Thanka, cocktails at the Jingkian Yi Gallery, a conference on the cross influence in Asian and European costume, 19th through 20th centuries, at the Yves Saint Laurent Museum, and lots more. Printemps Asiatique will take place throughout Paris from Wednesday, June 7th through June 16th, and more information can be found at printemps dash asiatique dash paris dot com. That's p r i n t e m p s dash a s i a t i q u e dash paris dot com. If the idea of walking around Paris enjoying art appeals, I have more good news. Also beginning on Wednesday, June seventh, is the Cinq Jours de l'Objet Extraordinaire. And these five days of the extraordinary object is a free event bringing together lovers of art and culture. In total, more than 70 gallery owners and antique dealers throughout the 6th and 7th arrondissements will showcase some of their more exceptional pieces. This event, organized by the Carré Rive Gauche, will bring together more than 70 experts in decorative arts, design, archaeology, jewelry, goldsmithery, ceramics, fine arts, furniture, and other works of art from the 19th and 20th centuries, as well as more modern and contemporary art, and offers a range of curiosities, including rare, authentic, and surprising pieces. Cinq jours de l'objet extraordinaire will take place throughout the 6th and 7th arrondissements from Wednesday, June 7th through Saturday, June 10th, and more information can be found at carrerivegauche.com. That's C-A-R-R-E-R-I-V-E. G-A-U-C-H-E dot com. Okay, if you're over walking the streets and are looking to kick it up a notch, let's try dancing in the metro. That's right. On Thursday, June 8th, between 12.30 and 2.30 p.m., the metro will transform into a dance floor. This year's lunch beat will take place on Line 6's Glacier Station with two hours of electro music spun by producer Marina Trench, the newest sensation on the French house scene. You do need two things, however. One, a valid metro ticket, and two, a registration confirmation email. Lunch Beat will take place on Thursday, June 8th, from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. as a Glacier Station and is free to attend. For more information and to register, please visit avenium-site.com. That's E-V-E-N-I-U-M dash S-I-T-E dot com. To keep the party going, head to Le Perchoir Melimonton for a rooftop sunset and an ephemeral five-day event, Golden Hour by Saint-Germain. Surrounded in flowery decor where elderflower takes center stage, you can enjoy your early summer evenings while sipping a cocktail, watching the sun go down over a panoramic view of Paris and Sacré-Cœur, and listening to the sounds of people like Voyou, Miel de Montagne, Nathalie Duchesne, Funky French League, César, Tourmourbourg, and Fleur Bang Bang, among others. You can hear everything from house to jazz, soul to hip-hop, and pop to electro. And of course, a selection of Saint-Germain cocktails will be on hand. You can even take a mixology workshop if you're so inclined. The Golden Hour by Saint-Germain will be at Le Perchoir Menimontant from Thursday, June 8th through Monday, June 12th. Tickets start at 25 euros and you must be 18 or over to attend. More information, including tickets and a full lineup, can be found at feverup.com. If you're looking to dance the night away in a more unusual environment than the rooftops of Paris, 
might I suggest the Monet de Paris, where, for one night only, you can enjoy an immersive evening on a giant 360-degree dance floor in the courtyard of the Paris Mint. Over the course of this evening, you'll have a chance to dance to the beats of three 100% French electronic duos, including Le Camion Bazar, Bambounou B2B Olympe 4000, and Tatidi B2B Celine, surrounded by a 34,000 square meter palace in the heart of Paris. FIP 360 will be at the Menet de Paris on Thursday, June 8th from 7 p.m. to midnight, and tickets start at 20 euros. For more information, including ticketing, please visit monetdeparis.fr. That's M-O-N-N-A-I-E-D-E Paris dot F-R. Okay, so we've walked all over Paris, danced in the metro, on rooftops, and in courtyards. I guess it's time we start running. And if we're going to run, we might as well do it for three days nonstop, don't you think? Luckily, the ninth edition of the No Finish Line Paris race begins on Friday, June 9th. And, best of all, it's for a good cause. For every kilometer covered, and don't worry, walking counts just as much as running, one euro is donated. This race is open to everyone, regardless of age, alone or in a team. And the challenge is to go as far as you can on a 1.3 kilometer loop. The loop is open 24 hours a day, so you can come and go when you're able. And the money raised will go to Médecins du Monde, and the Samu Social de Paris. There's also a virtual event if you can't make your way to the André Citroën Parc in person. Last year, they raised 68,750 euros. No Finish Line Paris will be at the Parc André Citroën from Friday, June 9th through Sunday, June 11th, and registration is 15 euros for children and 25 euros for adults. For more information, including registration, please visit Paris. Dot com. Do you know what this week needs more of? Fashion. So, let's head now to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum for its newest exhibit, Farm, or Shapes and Forms in English, featuring the work of German artist Claudia Weiser. Fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent began his fascination with shapes when he created his trapeze line for Dior in 1958. From that point on, he played with geometric construction often gaining inspiration from contemporary art. In this exhibit, Claudia Weiser's art, inspired by artists like Kandinsky and Paul Klee, will mingle with some of YSL's most iconic pieces to create a dialogue between art and fashion. In total, you'll find Claudia's pieces paired with 40 haute couture and ready-to-wear outfits, accessories, and sketches from the museum's collections. Quote, The exhibition offers an immersion in their creative universes, where the geometric construction will plunge visitors into a multitude of curves, right angles, spheres, and broken colored lines. Form is an ode to modernity and creativity, where geometry and abstraction are given pride of place. The exhibition reveals a sublime dialogue between two artists with a marginal vision, illustrating the modernity of one era in another. End quote. Form will be at the Musée Yves Saint Laurent from Friday, June 9th, through January 14th, 2024, and more information can be found at museeyslparis.com. That's m-u-s-e-e-y-s-l-paris.com. Have you always dreamed of owning a place in Paris? If you're planning on moving, renting, buying, or selling a place in France, you'll need the expert guidance of Gail Boisclair and Marie Pissinier, hosts of the Paris Estate of Mind podcast. Listen now to Paris Estate of Mind on parisundergroundradio.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll be right back with Don't Miss This after a word from our sponsors. And now, back to Don't Miss This. This week brought us one nocturne at the Monet de Paris. Shall we see if we can round up a couple more? First, let's head to the Petit Palais for an electro night with DJ sets, drag king shows, and Madame Arthur Cabaret. For one night only, the Durvie Collective is throwing a party called Fais pas Genre, in parallel with the Sarah Bernhardt exhibition. So, what can you expect? Well, Madame Arthur, Paris's number one cross-dressing cabaret, will perform three song and comedy creations based on Sarah Bernhardt. 
drag kings Charlie D'Amelio and Lascar Wilde will catwalk through the collection, and Rag, leader of the queer and lesbian collective Barbiturix, will spin Acid House Disco. Fait par genre will be at the Petit Palais on Friday, June 9th from 7 to 11 p.m., and tickets are 15 euros. For more information, including ticketing, please visit petitpalais.paris.fr. That's P-E-T-I-T-P-A-L-A-I-S dot Paris dot F-R. For our next Nocturne selection, let's head to the Cité de Sciences for Les Eclatantes, an evening of concerts and immersive installations. Beginning at 8 p.m. on Friday, June 9th, you can stroll through the Cité, discovering musical shows at the Planetarium, as well as creative workshops, games, and challenges. At 9 p.m., music will invade the aisles of the Cultural Center, and three rap and pop singers, Vicky R., Yao, and Chilla, will perform one after the other until 1 a.m. But that's not all. If you're into Pink Floyd, you won't want to miss the 42-minute event immersing you in the Pink Floyd, the Dark Side of the Moon Planetarium experience, which echoes the band's album's debut at the London Planetarium on February 27, 1973. You are also free to wander the new permanent exhibit, Urgence Climatique, explaining how we can fight against global warming, punctuated with sculptures, videos, and more. Les Eclatantes will be at the Cité des Séances on Friday, June 9th, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., and full price tickets are 21 euros. For more information, please visit cité-séances.fr. That's c-i-t-e-s-c-i-e-n-c-e-s dot f-r. If you'd like your night with a side of nature, you can also check out the Nuit des Forêts, which begins this week. This event will take place all over France, including around 30 forests in Ile de France, and aims to help people reconnect with nature and understand the importance of its preservation. Here in Paris, you'll find immersive experiences in the Bois de Vincennes and the Jardin d'Agronomie Tropicale, including screenings and performances of the Echo Theatre play Sauvage, introductory plant and biodiversity walks and bike rides, murals of biodiversity and nocturnal observations, and more. Slightly further afield in the forest of Fontainebleau, you'll find a two-day art walk with artists from all walks of life offering free performances and forest walks for the curious. Among the many events on offer, you'll find a musical and naturalist storytelling walk, followed by a picnic and acoustic concert, choreographer Robin de Corsi's echo-somatic journey, dances by the Paris Opera, hybrid songs of the birdwoman Violaine Le Chou, walks organized by the Office National des Forêts to discover bats at nightfall, and so much more. Les Nuits de Forêt will take place throughout France from Friday, June 9th through June 18th, and in the Forêt de Fontainebleau from Friday, June 9th through Sunday, June 11th, and is free to attend. For more information, please visit nuitdesforêts.com. That's N-U-I-T-S-D-E-S-F-O-R-E-T-S dot com. Let's end this week with a sky full of color. Over in Bercy Village, artist Patricia Kuna will install 1,200 sunflower-covered umbrellas in the heart of the Coeur Saint-Emilion as tribute to Van Gogh's sunflowers, 170 years after his birth. After a summer covered in art, the umbrellas will be donated to two associations. Installation de Patricia Cuna à Bercy Village will be held in the Cour Saint-Emilion from Saturday, June 10th through September 15th and is free to attend. Well, that's it for this week's roundup of Don't Miss This. I hope this week treats you well. If you like this podcast, please don't forget to rate and review it wherever you listen to podcasts. It's the fastest and easiest way to show your support. And if you really want to be supportive, Patreon is a great way to help. Patreon supporters get bonus videos with insider views of some of the best exhibits happening in Paris right now, weekly episodes during season breaks, and access to a fabulous book club. Find all that information on patreon.com slash Paris Underground Radio. I'm your host, Jennifer Garrity. You can find me on all socials at Jenny Foria. That's J-E-N-N-Y. P-H-O-R-I-A. Thank you so much for listening and happy exploring. Don't Miss This is produced by Jennifer Garrity for Paris Underground Radio. For more on this show and shows like it, please go to parisundergroundradio.com.